last time on Herb Vendor. So there I was, sitting around one of the bars in Stormwind with a few friends when someone who shared my name walked in. Normally, this wouldn't matter. I mean, I've seen quite a few insane names here on WoW. I figured if there's one lethal cum out there running around, there's yeah. bound to be more than one herb vendor. The weird thing was that he was actually from my same server, and looked exactly like an evil version of my character. This world looks so peaceful. Devoid of any resin. Oh, there's resin. But it's confined. Kept at bay. As it should be. You don't understand the resin yet, I can see. I have no need for such lowly forms of consumption. The herbs will betray us. Never. I remember being this stubborn. Fuck you, resin asimif. My apologies, she's drunk. What brings you here? I remember all of you. Before the Great Erasure. I know what you truly want. And what is that? You just want to sell your herbs. Make your peace. Of course. But they don't understand you. They don't understand us. The Stormwind Guard. This is true. They were all decimated in my timeline. Thank God. Anything you want, you can have. That doesn't sound too bad. There are others. Others? Join us and together we can rule the timelines. Don't listen to him. His dark color palette tells us he's evil. I don't know. They will join us either way. Once they see the power you hold. I mean, the timeline doesn't seem that bad, honestly. Can I preview it? Oh. I had nothing else going on, so I decided to follow the dude. I mean, I decided to follow evil me. He led me to Twilight Highlands, and I had never even been there before, so I guess that was cool. Right this way. Dragons know not what they sit on. Is it cool if I take their skin? And what is it that they hold? Why are we here? I will show you. Stay here. I will show you our power. Come. This is cool. Look up into the sky. Oh shit. The whole world lit on fire. This is only a fraction of what you have done. I did this? What for? Look at those resonators sticking out of the ground. Calcified resin growing proud and true. But... Don't we hate resin? Have you ever actually smoked resin? Or smoked out of the dark by... I've been broke. I've smoked resin. When you were broke, who was there for you? The resin. The resin does not judge. This is a good point. It only seeks to mend. 
but we judge the resin. So we were told by the urban gods. Soon the ground will open up, as it did in my timeline. There you will find what I found. You will become more powerful than any herbal vendor before you. When the time comes, kill the Weed Elf. That's not happening. And you will have everything. Everything you want. I would never. He's one of my closest friends and allies. He taught me everything I know. Live long enough, and all turns to resin. In just as dramatic of an entrance he had made, evil me disappeared. Well, right. I honestly had no clue who he was, but it was neat getting to meet Goth Herb Vendor. I ended up just hearthing back to Stormwind and strolling around for a while. There was some weird bug going on during that point in time where the skybox was stuck in a permanent state of sunset. It was so romantic. I was walking around when I noticed my old friend Balden standing around. I mean, I guess he's not so much a friend as much as he's just some crazy old man I've met before once or twice. Greetings, Balden. How are you doing, Sonny? I'm not bad, and you? I'm alive. Can't complain. You met him, didn't we? Yeah, we met. That's good. That's a good. You seem chill. The timelines are beginning to melt away. Soon a hole will open up in this world. How can we stop it? I don't know how to go cave diving if I were you. Oh, it's not getting stopped. I wonder where my counterpart is. Hmm. I. I feel strange. Oh shit. You good, Balden? What the hell? Where am I? Stormwind. W H O R U people. We're merely citizens of this city. My name is Boldeno. Oh, sup, Baldina. Who? I was just in the stall of Maoshi. This doesn't make any sense. You were just an old man. Issues with the space-time continuum? Oh dear. There we go. What the? I just disappeared to the Stalo Maoshi. My head. It's not quite a pointy hat, but I do have one I can give. That would be nice. Try it on, my friend. This will do. Looks pretty good. The hat makes the man. Whoops, I didn't mean to heal everybody. Does anybody else feel a little light? Yeah, I just healed us. I don't know what's going on. Help. B. Then, I don't know, I think he died or something. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he died. Dead or not, Balden disappeared. But there were a ton of people online that night. The perfect time to vend some herbs. I made my way to the mage quarters and laid eyes upon my first customer. Greetings. Now you look like a man of wealth. I like your outfit. The drip is immaculate, my lord.
You're such big ears, you sure can't hear well. Sorry. Shit. Oh god, that was... Hmm. Okay. I didn't let the awkwardness throw off my sails for the evening. In fact, I decided to build off that awkward energy and take my wares to Goldshire. Specifically, the basement. That's where I saw Gert here. Your insurance won't cover Viagra, bro. You're buying them gas station dick pills. Like these people. Look at what is this? Gurp. Gurp's not even involved. He's away. He's like, I am just here. Spooky sex. Ah, uh, Gurp. Look at Gurp. Oh, God. That was. Mm. Okay. God damn it. As I left Gurp there, I couldn't help but feel guilty about not doing anything. I mean, the man was clearly away, but for some reason caught within a sweaty circle of nerd coitus. I had to go back and say something. Get away from Gurp. Drugs. Is he consenting to this? Get closer to Gurp. Gurp loves drugs. Oh, you're there. I don't know. Are you guys fucking? Maybe a little as a treat. I don't. I don't want to do that. Join us. What in the goddamn? Sabisi, join us. Can Gurp pull out real quick and smoke a blunt? I'm down for that. Hell yeah, I can. No blunt for the hoes? Them some big words. This is what you're drawing the line at? Cheese puffs leave, you're scaring the hose. Yeah, cheese. Oh no. Don't touch the hose. Okay, okay. Your weapons are too glowy. Cool, thank you. Okay, let's smoke this blunt. I offered Gurp some herbs, which he graciously accepted. And boy, did he enjoy them. Look at him go. During his smoke-induced trance, he was still able to display empathy. We love you, Gurp. Gurp continued blazing at fat, as they say. So much so that I decided to flood the entire basement with white smoke flares. Things were getting crazy, and I kind of failed to remember where we were. I don't think a party in the basement of Goldshire was a good idea. And my point was further proven upon noticing all the unclothed partygoers who had snake pets wandering around. Why is there a snake down here? What's the snake? I don't want to know what the snake's going to do. Hotbox the goon cave. And hotbox we did. With the party rapidly bridging into freaky territory, I decided to get the fuck out of there. Besides, it was the night of the week that the Stormwind Player Ran improv comedy show happens. And I hadn't been in a while. Pretty much as soon as I sat down, I noticed a conversation going on behind the event. Holy shit, it was Dragon Jesus. In his mortal form, of course. Dragon Jesus. Show your true form. It is I. You look a little cursed there, Dragon Jesus. Dragon Jesus is cursed with bad boy. Why see? I'm gonna go watch the play. Or whatever this is. When I walked back into the improv show, I decided to just sit next to my friend Wishbear. To the right of us was some warlock who was wilding out for some reason. Baron Demon, are you a heckler? She is heckling. Audience, we need your help. Okay. I am ready. Quiet you. Okay, sorry. This is why we can't have nice things. Baron Demon started it. We are going to be making up everything you see here this evening. We rely on audience suggestions to fuel the madness here on stage. I'm gonna, I want to participate. Let's do this. I want to participate in this shit. Okay, audience. Name for me something that can fit in a backpack. 
A gun. A gun. Herbs. A gun. Poop. So what's in the bag? Is it poop or a gun? Please keep your suggestions PG, guys. Poop is PG. We all do it. Open your eyes. Stay woke. Damn it. Do the bird. Do the bird. Okay. All right. That exit sure felt smoother than it looked. I, I promise it wasn't that bad. I flew around for a while until deciding I'd try a few more herb sales before calling it a night. Greetings. I seek conversation with this cherubic goblin. Out of nowhere, someone approached me from behind. Greetings. Hey friend. Cool outfit. Thanks. I look pretty badass. Yeah, you look something. I'm big and manly in this wonderful skirt. It's just my tail. Don't worry. I hoped to shit that it was actually his tail and not something else. I told him I was going to go back to the improv show, even though he suggested otherwise. I had cat form after all. I could just stealth and enjoy the rest of the performance in peace. Spoiler alert, it wasn't very funny. I ended up just hanging out with some friends outside of the show. Someone threw down one of those character model changer things. I swear I have the worst luck with these things. It's like no matter which race I get, I look like shit. Oh, there ain't no way. There ain't no way. Mm -mm. In a rare change of fate, I got something cool. Myself. Whoa, I got myself. <gasps> with my newfound confidence, I took back off to sell some totally not drugs. Greetings. Oh, it's a giant sewer rat. Out of my way, child. Halfway through my battle with the Rat King, I noticed that I would remain in my normal form even while shape-shifting. I'm not in cat form! For whatever reason, this was completely blowing my mind. While running around the city in a weird hybrid half-cat, half-man form, I stumbled upon the witch from the last episode. That cursed item. It has... I am stuck. My shape-shifted forms no longer shift me. Badass. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Selena blinked, peering up. Oh? Well, that's an interesting side effect. Certain it's the curse I gave you? No, but it's cool either way. I hope your night is going well, friend. After my second encounter with the cool goth witch, I decided to hit up the mage quarter. There weren't a lot of people around the rest of the city at that point, so I figured they might all be there. My god. And boy was I right. It's usually crowded in here, but this night in particular was wild. I was having a drink when I noticed a Drakthir staring at me from the entrance of the bar. Come. Allow me to show you the broken saw. My gosh. It treats me as a mount in this state. So I'm very unusually fast. Let's see some swiftness. We could charge to watch this, you know. Is this true? Yes. Check this out. Greetings. Would you be interested in paying 1,000 gold to watch a dragon run fast? I would. But I'll need a loan. I'm a very fast dragon. We've got to find someone else to pay. 
We'll find someone else. I'll waddle my fish at him instead of payment. Fish do not entertain me. I only want money. I am a dragon. We'll find the money. Let me, uh... Hello. Would you be interested in seeing a dragon run really fast? He's doing it. Never mind. Oh, he stopped. I only run. It was a beautiful spectacle until one of the mechanomes and the dragon got into a very heated verbal argument. That left Sabisi here and I to figure out what to get into for the rest of the night. On our way to Cathedral Square to meet a friend, we stumbled upon some lady with a giant pet snake. Greetings. Afternoon, how goes the day? It goes alright, just out selling herbs. I couldn't help but notice the snake. What's its name? Obat. Did the hand chain hanging around his neck tip you off? I don't see a chain. Should I be worried? Is he loose? May I? CBC, watch out. I me ane do ente ave alis so technically es luose. It'll be fine. Observe. That thing flicks his tongue at the human in front of her. Yeah, it was popping, G. Just don't tug the chain. Edo en te bait en les y te limto. That orif is defending me. Ye bitch, these fans inject plenty of venom to get y'all convulsing. Just don't harm a lady and you won't get her dough. Other than that, we chill. Enthralled by the chill snake, Sabisi stuck around Lion's Rest while I continued on my journey. It was on said journey that I noticed a dwarven man with a goblin in tow. Greetings. Hello. How are you three doing this evening? Not too bad. Yourself. I'm doing pretty well, thank you. I like your friend's hat. It's quite a fine hat indeed. I can tell he's a man of style. And mystery. How about purchasing a mystery bag for him? Seems like he'd be into it. Depends on the price, I suppose. Five silver. Fair price. And you have to ride one of them boats with me. The loved ones. Not like that. I just want to see what happens when I ride one. I'm scared of boats. With my new friend's hand, I took to one of the boats, only to once again hop into someone else's boat. Oh. Hello. Whoops. Hi. Sorry. Ah, pardon us. Just a Murloc gate here. Not much to see. How do Murlocs have sex? Carefully. After the boat ride, I met some nice mechanomes and ultimately made my way to meet my friend McSchnoot. Greetings, McSchnoot. Salutations, herb vendor. There is work to be done. Follow me. Here we are. The cathedral. What do you think of when you see it? Religion. And the dope ass pope. It's a pretty chill one for sure. But what else? 
the light. A big ass party. A basement rave. I see now. In the bottom levels of the cathedral. It would be so badass. Perhaps I've been too sober recently. Truly. Probably. Let us scope it out. We made our way to the cathedral and into its sacred holy Christian quarters. Where do I hide? Hmm. Too open. Too holy. The entrance to the rave can be here. There will be snacks and hors d'oeuvres. I don't know how to spell that, but it'll be like nachos or some shit. Here. This will be the centralized location of the rave. These coffins can make some pretty dope pool tables. The holiness no longer stings. This is adequate. Let us head back up. While we were exiting the crypts of the church, we ran into someone else. Wait. Hello. This is a holy place. We were merely planning something. The building looked like a great venue. What type of event? A party. A hella dope one. This place is free to the priests. I'm not a priest, but I can pretend to be one. You'll have to take it up with a head pressed. Follow me. Follow me. Speak with him. What can I do for you? He says it's fine. We have his blessing. Wait. He said we can get Panda Express catering. I'm drunk. I don't even work here. Where is your shirt, my good man? Wait. A man of this much drip. He might know where to find mecha hotties. Ah, uh, yes. Response. It could be true. In this bar. They took my shirt. To get my shirt back. Like that, we were off. I mean, we met some drunk dude at the church who got his shirt stolen at a bar. How are we not going to help the poor guy? He led us to the mage quarter, and back into the still very crowded slaughtered lamb. You have my shirt. I want it back. You mean your virginity? Did your dark glowing boyfriend dare steal it from you? Give me my shit, you know. Interesting conclusion. I need to be more drunk for this. Wait. This is the wrong bar. He don't have a shirt for you, pal. Yeah. Advertisement. Would you like a 10%, 20%, 40%, or 50% herb gummy? Stand back, foul creature. What in the devil's anus are you? What in the devil's lake anus are you? Better watch yourself, friend. Scrappo is my shooter. Ah, green demon one. I did not know this was your mechanical demon link. Info. Unit is the best shooter out there. Unit has never shot before. But that just means I have zero misses. 
100% accuracy. Should you if Ildo as dare to pass banquet and try and pass your sorcerer's ways onto me, I shall strike the down. So you don't want a dummy? Must be the work of an evil wizard, no doubt. I shall deny your evil confectionaries. The conversation started to get really boring, so I told Scrappo I was going to go back on the hunt to find his mecha hottie. I don't remember what was going on that stream, but I had to AFK in the middle of town, and while away, Scrappo met a girl in the background. When I got back, I could hardly believe what was happening. Scrappo has found a mecha hottie. Yo. Nice. Info, unit name, Scrappo. What are your parents' names? Response, unit does not know. Had to erase it to make room for update. I see. Unfortunate. Response. It's alright. Unit is just vibing. I can't create with those who don't know their parents, sadly. Response. Unit does not wish to create. Unit just wants to have someone to hold mechanical hands with. Response, and you are a fine mecha hottie I would wish to hold hands with until we rust. I am not interested in pleasantries. Just creation. Response, unit understands. Response, unit hopes you find someone who will help you with creations. Scrappo had taken the rejection like a real champion. Good job, King. Almost immediately, another mechanome approached. Give drugs. At this point, I was kind of lost, but I'm pretty sure this was Scrappo inserting drugs into her drug hole. Response, all right. It's the good stuff. Response, thanks. You... Take drug with Poodle. I already took drugs. More. You more. Never enough. Get turked. Poodle wants to do lines. Response, sick. Huff in that gold. That's premium puffs. Watch me hit that sweet gold one more time. Premium puff. Response. That is pretty dope. Mecha gnome approved only. Not for the flesh nerds, it's too hardcore. Response, true and real. Huff that pearl. Huff that pearl. Observation, unit is tripping. Up that shit, Scrappo. High off pearl, we left Scrappo to do his thing while my friends and I sat on that little overlook thing by the fountain. Small moments like this are cool. And honestly, some of my fondest memories of WoW in general. Hey, can you guys hear me? What's yeah, Level 255, what the fuck? Or, or no, never mind, what the fuck? That's the honor. It's the honor, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what? We did it! We did it!